and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over built-in functions uh, for objects in Roblox. Um, what are built-in functions? Well, actually, a better question would be, what are functions? Well, to put it into perspective, the function of your computer is to let you go online, maybe. Like, the function of your web browser is to let you go online. Um, the function of your car might be to get you from place A to place B. It's what it's supposed to do. It's its job, sort of. But in scripting it, and programming and just coding in general, it's a little different. Um, so, let's go to our script. This is called a statement. Any line in code uh, where you are doing something, calling something, but you're not declaring something. Actually, sometimes even when you're declaring something. It's called a statement because it's actually getting work done. Um, don't ask me why they named it statement, though, because I wasn't there uh, when they named it. So it's called a statement, and the function is really just a big block, a big... And I'll explain blocks um, later on when we actually make our own functions, probably. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's a big block of statements uh, that you can just call with one line rather than having to go through all of them. And they're very useful for when you're calling them several times. So, here's uh, here. Now let's go over a couple built-in functions. So we're actually going to just go here. And actually we're going to keep this print. Now let's go over one function that you'll probably use hundreds if not thousands if not millions of times throughout your scripting l career uh, or life or whatever you want to call it. It's called find first child very simple very to the point let's get to it game dot workspace for f using built-in functions you have to put a colon and not a dot separator that's just the syntax of the language find first child now you guys this is still sort of case sensitive but you can either have it uh, um, smaller um, F for find there, or a bigger one like that. I'm going to do this because that's how I do it. Now, find first child. We already know that functions, to make sure you're calling a function, Lua makes you put two parentheses. But find first child does also take a parameter like print does. This parameter needs to be a string parameter. And this parameter is going to be the name of the object you want to find. So we're going to put in find first child and just like last one, base. And I'll explain why we would do this over just using a dot separator and then the name of it in a minute. We're going to disable and re-enable. And we see we get the same output as we did back when we just used game.workspace.base. Now why would you use find first child over just a simple dot base? Well, the reason for it is going to be explained a lot better when we get into if statements and stuff like that, um, which I'll explain in a few tutorials from now. But the main idea of it, the main idea of it, is um, to make sure the uh, the object you're trying to find exists. Basically, it's not going to throw an error at you if the object you're trying to find doesn't exist like using a dot separator would. If something didn't exist right now that you were trying to find, um, the dot separator would tell you, ah, no, 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 that's not, I'm not playing that, that's not gonna work. And it's gonna bark at you through the output and it's gonna stop your script because you have an error. So, there's no really 
not really a better way to explain this other than it's just there for kind of like double checking yourself um yeah that's, that's about it so we'll go over one more quick function um and we're going to do that actually two more actually no just no actually we're not going to go over any more right now uh next tutorial we'll go over two built-in functions uh for bricks and it'll be pretty cool so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or dislike button corresponding now you felt about this video and i'll catch you guys later